Outlander. Got them all. So, about that cannon. <laughs> I'm not looking forward to hauling this all the way to the bulwark. Hmm. Here. I may be maimed, but I've still got a strong back. After you. Hey, you fought well back there. I did not think we'd survive, but killing the rebels and the machine, it was good to take the fight to them for once. You really think this thing will do the job? Oh, no, soon enough. Lead on. Crunch under my boots. Here it is. But you don't just need a cannon. You need a miracle. Coming right up? Well, go on. Okay. Gotta blast away some rocks so I can expose the power cell. Isn't this impressive? Two children playing siege. I hope they haven't hurt the Bulwark's feelings. Come now, stop embarrassing yourselves, and leave this poor mountain alone. This is your last chance, Takote. You can still answer Hikaru's call. This is your last chance. You have it backwards. Leave this place, Savage, now, and take this cripple with you. Takote, now you have to join Hikaro. Never. Never. We will... We will rebuild it. Immediately. You are not safe. The Bulwark couldn't protect you from a single cannon. Let alone an army of machines. <laughs> the only pathway to safety is to unite against Regala with your chief. You decreed that no challengers would be sent, while the clan remained safe behind the bulwark. So send them now. Unless your word means nothing. Send them. I didn't hear you. Send the challengers. I look forward to seeing the Sky Clan's colors in the arena.
Nicely done, Marshal. What's gonna happen to this place? They'll have to live without their wall. But that's better than living apart from the tribe, as pawns in Takota's foolish schemes. If you want to check up on them, talk to Jera, the chaplain of the clan. If anyone needs help up there, she'll know. Yeah, maybe I will. I'll take my leave then. I need to report to Hikaru. I'll see you at the culvert. Good. We may need another miracle there as well. Maybe I should go up there, see if everyone's all right, and find this chaplain, Gera. Might also be a good idea to resupply before I head back out. Sure was a nice wall. Shame he had to be stupid. Are you Chaplain Jera? Catalo said I should talk to you to see if you need help. Bold move. Wallbreaker, burying Takote's pride beneath the bulwark's rubble. I, I was just... At ease. Many in the clan <laughs> agree with you, and Marshal Cotella was right to send you to me. There is something you can help with. A few of our soldiers followed him to the embassy at Baron Light, against Takote's orders. Right. I remember Cotello showed up last, with only a few representatives from the Sky Clan. When those soldiers returned home, Takote reassigned them to an old watchtower, one we had abandoned to the machines. He insisted that with war brewing, it must be reclaimed, but those soldiers are serving no one out there. If, however, they were to return by request of Hakaro's champion, Takote wouldn't have the backing to deny them, especially when their chaplain supports their return. Tell a few soldiers to come home and give Dakota another black eye? Sounds easy enough. Go to the cold rushes, a long stretch to the west. The watchtower stands beside the falls. Speak to Kiva there, the squad's leader. Good luck. Have a trip. We'll make it. Look again next time you're passing. It's amazing. You, you break their wall. All of a sudden, everybody needs help. What's going on here? The wall breaker. Jekka's brother here went off to get himself killed. He'll finish the climb. I know it. <laughs> Not likely. My brother Pento left to climb the March of the Ten to get his soldier's mark. They were supposed to be done by now. But he's not back yet. Jekka, the Taka, to your training, now! Your brother should have stuck to his cleaning duties. Would you mind checking up on the march? If I leave, my squad leader will kick my ass. And I don't want anyone thinking I'm worried about my brother making the climb. Because I'm not. I get it. You can't miss the path markers. They're by the waterfall west of here. If I head that way, I'll see what's going on. Thank you. No slacking, soldier! I'm coming, I'm coming. Pento, 
You better stay safe. what you're arguing about? Oh, Sariva won't let it rest. She insists our comrade Farika flew on the wings of the Ten. But I say, hanging on to a Stormbird for dear life isn't the same. A Tanakh throwed a Stormbird? She went up in the air. But road is a strong word. Ha! Huh, you admit it. You're talking about her like she's no longer around. She's not. After she grabbed onto the machine, it flew off with her to that mountaintop. The Stormbird still circles the peak, but we never saw Farika again. That's sad. What a way to go. I'll say. A shame no one can reach that mountaintop. She was a great soldier with armor to match, and it serves no one lying up there. I'm a pretty good climber. No doubt, but unless you want to try what Farika did, there's no realistic way to get up there. For now. I don't care what you say, she flew. She flailed. Were you there? I saw it all in the distance. She got it. All right, then. Soldiers smart. Yeah, this way. I'm guessing this is it. Judging by these markers, that climbing trail Jekka talked about must be nearby. I should check up on her brother while I'm here. Useful for making dyes. I'm here. Wounded. The way that wind picked up, there's bound to be an avalanche. That person looks like they're in charge. I should talk to them. Wallbreaker. 
If you've come to witness the March of the Ten, you're out of luck. Actually, I came looking for someone called Pento. Pento? That poor scab was as good as dead even before the storm hit. You're out of line, soldier. What's he talking about? The kid you're looking for is still up on the mountain, along with two others. Pento was the only one who decided to break tradition and climb without a partner. His odds aren't good. I'm sorry to say they never were to begin with. As far as being Tanak goes, he's got most of it backwards. So what? You're all just waiting here? Shouldn't you be calling for help? Couldn't find anyone in that storm, even if we wanted to. Those kids are at the mercy of the mountain now. We'll see about that. But first, a couple of questions. <coughs> Why is everyone so sure this Penta can't climb that mountain? Our people are soldiers. We respect strength and agility. Pento has neither. Never has. He's been stuck on cleaning duty since he was a child. Yet he decided to undergo our clan's most difficult trial on his own. And you think he's crazy for trying? I'm not a fan of that word. When I chose to wear a woman's armor, people called me crazy too. I guess Pento just feels like he has to prove himself show who he really is. I understand. Believe me. But that climb is hard enough, even without a storm. Okay... What is this march you mentioned? This is one of the toughest slopes in Sky Clan territory. It's said that the Ten climbed this mountain in pairs during their war against machines. Our people partner up to earn their soldiers' marks by following in the Old One's footsteps and retrieving the Blood Crest, a flower that grows on the summit. Until Pento, that is. He insisted on climbing on his own. You mean no one wanted to climb up with him? I tried to stop him, but there were technically no rules against it, so I let him pass. That sounds familiar. The Nora have a similar ritual. No one wanted me in that one either. Their mistake, I presume? Yep. I could try following the path up the mountain. See if I can find Penta. You said there were two other climbers missing as well? Just one. The other is right there. Zika! Rocco and I... We were climbing back down. There was an avalanche where we got separated. I, I couldn't see anything. Someone's got to go up there. You can barely see your own feet in that storm. Except I don't need to. I'll be back. Are you wounded? If the storm gets too rough, I can always use my focus to find those climbers. I should follow the markers. They'll lead me to the start. I'll be in my stash when I need it. Workers, I'm on the right track. Ooh, a rock. Ooh, a rock. Sounds like someone's putting up a fight. Whoever you are, thanks for the assist.
<clears throat> you okay? <laughs> Not really. Just drop it. But I'll live. Your climbing partner. She said you got separated during an avalanche? My partner? Yeah. The avalanche caught us off guard. Swept me up like a twig. I was sure I was a goner. Then someone grabbed hold of me and pulled me out. It was Penta. He risked his life for me. Did you see where he went? Up that cliff behind you. Said he was gonna finish the climb. I told him it was suicide, but he wouldn't listen. Can you make it back down on your own? Yes. You're not going after him, are you? Go. I are We're going to after him. The storm gets any worse. May the ten be with you. I have to find Penta before he gets himself killed. Ooh, shiny. Third Squadron, when the hell did the feds decide to let those G Sin rust buckets fire off live artillery rounds? I guess they realized their non lethal solution didn't solve a damn thing. Hodgins thinks he can get a signal further up the mountain, calling the big gun. Feds want to play hardball. JTF will light up those drones like the 4th of July. Problem is, his leg is in bad shape. Gonna be a tough hauling him up this rock. my focus to pick up Pinto's trail. Those must be Pinto's tracks. It looks like the avalanche destroyed most of the climbing path. I need to get past this trench. This old soldier must have climbed up this way. You get a strong color, but Fento made it past here. The path must have collapsed after him. Maybe I can glide across. I should be able to pick up Pento's tracks again. Got him. Looks like Pento climbed the cliff. The mountain is unstable. Get out of my way! I don't think I'll be. Let's hope that's Pento. Whoa! Could use some help. Who's there? Huh? Oh, the friend! Focus display is distorted.
There we go. Now, can I talk to him? Penta? Do I know you? Wakata sent me. We need to get off this mountain, now. No. I'm not going back there as a failure. I am getting that flower no matter what. Look, I know what it's like when your tribe looks down on you, but you- Then you understand why I'm either gonna get to the top of this mountain or die on it. Thank you. What are you doing? This climb is meant to be done by two people, right? I'll be your partner. I'll follow your lead. Want this? Looks like the trail carries on here. Hey, they said enough. You know my name, but I don't think I've caught yours. I'm leaving it's you here. Aloy. You sure you want to involve yourself with the Bulwark's biggest loser, Aloy? I like to make my own judgments about people. You know, it's not like everyone can be born with a sword glued to their hand, but apparently that's what it takes to be Tanat. What was that? I don't know. Maybe it's just the wind. I hope so. It's never just the wind. It's a dead end. There's a climbing spike left over from the original path. Not that it's of much use right now. Sorry. Watch out! Careful! Uh, I'll just wait here for you. Yep. It didn't do the thing! You're back. We still have to climb our way up the mountain. No shit, Sherlock. I think you're onto something. Stay put. If I use my pole caster on that climbing spike, I could reach the other side. I'm gonna. The, gotta take a breather. Hodges is in the agony. Still can't get a signal. Fed drones are fly are doing flyovers. Hopefully these trees will give us some cover. We're gonna have to keep climbing. Told Hodgins he better not give up on me. As a incentive, I made a bet. Thousand dollars against his precious wayfarers in the championship tonight. They're a thirty point favorite, so all he has to do is make it to the top. He can lord it over me for the rest of his life. That ought to keep going. 